Let's do a calculation for rental lease income. Let's assume that we've got a three year lease for a commercial property and this is income. So we own the building, we're leasing it out to someone else. The lease terms are as follows. We've got the lease term being three years, which is 36 months. Monthly rent is $5,000. There's a security deposit of $5,000, which is refundable at the end of the lease term. This is important because if it was non-refundable, we would count it as revenue. However, because this is refundable, this is going to be just a, a liability because we have to give it back to them at the end of the lease term. The lease commencement date is January 1, year one, nice clean dates, and the rent payments are due on the first of each month. So dates aren't messing with us too hard. Based on these terms, the annual rent revenue for tax purposes will be the following. In all three years, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward, you see just 12 months, $5,000, uh, and that's pretty nice. Now, obviously, the dates could play a role. If the first year we only had one month, uh, let's say it started on December 1st, obviously, we would just do one month times 5,000. Another aspect here, again, the treatment of the security deposit could be a trick for this question. So again, pretty straightforward here. The security deposit's not considered rent revenue as it's refundable at the end of the term. Note that if it had mentioned that it was non-refundable, this would be included as revenue. Now, I'm the worst. I know that I put these in the slides, these notes for explaining things. And I just want to jump ahead and just explain it to you before we even get there. I know, but that way you get dual explanations. Now for tax purposes here, the landlord would recognize 60,000 in rent revenue for each year of the lease. Note that the actual tax liability will depend on various factors, such as deductions and tax rates, which are not included here. Obviously you could have a lot more deductions. This is just simply revenue. It's not like you get tax on the full amount. You're obviously going to deduct depreciation, uh, utilities, expenses, anything else like that. All right, we got another example here. Let's assume the landlord has only one rental property and all payments are made in a single year. How are we going to treat different payments, different cash flows? Well, what about a lease cancellation payments? <laughs> I've definitely paid these to cancel a lease early. It's not fun, but sometimes you just got to move or uh, you, you got to get out of there for some reason. The tenant cancels the lease before the term's over. And according to the lease agreement, the tenant must pay a lease cancellation fee of $10,000. This payment is recognized as income in the year it's received. So in that prior example, let's say they canceled at the beginning of year three, the income they would recognize is $10,000. Non-refundable rent deposits, a new tenant signs a lease and pays a non-refundable rent deposit of $3,000. The deposit will be applied toward the last month's rent of the lease term. Since the deposit's non-refundable, this one would be recognized as income in the year it is received. Rental income received in advance, the same new tenant pays their first six months of rent in advance, totaling $30,000, which is $5,000 per month. Advanced rental payments are recognized as income in the year that they are received. Now in summary here, we're gonna see that the landlord would recognize the following income for US tax purposes. We've got all three amounts here, totaling $43,000. Hey there, are you ready to not only pass your CPA exams, but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying? I know it seems impossible, right? Especially to enjoy the material? We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai, where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible. Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together.